Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to shapes and select the rectangle shape and then draw the background. So I'll just make a nice big rectangle in the middle of the slide. Then I will remove the shape outline and change the fill to a light blue color for the sky. Next we'll make the sun, so I'll go back to shapes and select the oval shape and then click and drag while holding down shift in order to draw a big circle. Then I will zoom out and we'll move this circle to the top. And I will also double check while I'm here that the rectangle is in the center as it makes it easier to line everything else up. Then once I have the circle positioned where I want it, I'll select the rectangle and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then position this copy of the rectangle over the top of the one underneath. Then select both the rectangle and the circle and go to shape format and merge shapes and intersect. And we can't see this shape at the moment, but I'll change the fill to yellow for the sun. Then I'll do the same thing for the earth at the bottom. Go back to shapes and select the circle and then hold down shift while clicking and dragging to draw a circle and then position it at the bottom. Then I will select the rectangle and duplicate it and line it up with the one underneath and then select both the rectangle and the circle and go to merge shapes and intersect. Then we need to change the color of this and I'll make it a darker blue for the ocean. Next I'm going to make the ozone layer so I'll go to shapes and then select the hollow circle and hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a big circle. Then we'll make it thinner and position it in the middle somewhere. Then duplicate the rectangle again and line it up with the one underneath. Select both the circle and the rectangle and then go to merge shapes and intersect. Then we need to change the color of this so I will make this a different shade of blue. And I think I'll just move that down a bit. Now we've made the ozone layer, I want to make the ozone hole. So I'll go back to shapes and I will select this explosion shape here and then click and drag this. And I am going to rotate this and distort the shape a bit until I have it looking the way that I want. Then select the ozone layer and then the explosion while holding down control and go to merge shapes and subtract. Now I'm going to draw the UV rays. So I'll go to shapes and select the arrow and then click and drag this down here. And I'll try and position it so it's going through the hole I just made. Then I will go to shape styles and open up the formatting bar and we will change the color of this so it matches the sun and make it wider. Then I'll change the cap type to round and the join type to round as well and change the arrow to be this sort of shape. Then I want to make some more copies of this and position them here and then here and then once more over this side. Now I want to add some land to the earth at the bottom so we'll go to insert and icons and I will search for planet and then select Antarctica and insert. And I will convert to shape. Then I'm gonna hold down control and make a couple of copies of this. Then move Antarctica into the middle of the map and I will reposition and resize it to get it to look the way that I want it to. I mostly only want something that looks vaguely landmass shaped. 
Then I'll select the ocean and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then line it up with the one underneath. Then select the ocean and hold down Ctrl and select the land mass and then go to shapes and merge shapes and intersect. Then I need to change the color of this and I will make it green. Then I will take another copy of Antarctica and reposition this one as well and resize it. Then I will duplicate the ocean again and line it up with the one underneath. Then select both the land mass and the ocean and go to merge shapes and intersect. Then I will change this one to be off white. And it looks like I need to slightly reposition this. Then I will do the same thing for the one over here. And I will reposition and resize the image until it looks the way that I want it to. Then duplicate the ocean and line it up with the shape underneath. And then select both of these shapes and go to merge shapes and intersect. And then change this to off-white as well. And looks like I need to reposition that one slightly too. Okay, now I want to add in a person and a couple of buildings. So I'll go to insert and icons again and search for person and select this person here then search for factory and select this one and then search for building and select this one and insert now i will reposition and resize these and now i want some particles coming off of these buildings so I'll go to shapes and select the oval shape again and then hold down shift and draw a really small circle. We will then zoom into this to make it easier to see. And I'm going to remove the shape outline from this and then make it light gray. Then I'll hold down control and duplicate this shape a bunch of times. Then I will hold down shift and make it slightly bigger and then change the color to be a bit darker and we'll make a couple of copies of this as well then i'll make it a bit bigger and a bit darker and make a couple of copies of this one too and then again make it a bit bigger and a bit darker and make a couple of copies now i'm going to select all of these shapes while holding down control or as many as possible because they overlap quite a bit and then press control D to duplicate and move it to the side a bit and press control D to duplicate a couple more times. Then I'm going to do a whole bunch of repositioning to get this to look the way that I want it. Now I'm going to change the color of some of these shapes so the size and the color doesn't always match. And I'll press F4 to copy the color that I just used. Okay, and then I'll zoom out to make sure that looks roughly how I want it. And then zoom back in again. And now I'm going to hold down control and select a bunch of these shapes and then press control D to duplicate them and move them up into the ozone layer. And then I'll duplicate them again and then reposition the ones inside the ozone layer so they look the way that I want them to. And now I'll change the color of the ones in the ozone layer and make them all a bit yellow. and then zoom out to make sure this looks roughly how I want it. The next step is to add in the numbers for all of the labels. So I'll go to shape and select the circle again 
and hold down shift to draw a circle. Then change the shape outline to black and the shape fill to white. Then double click in here and type in the number one. Then we need to change the text fill to black so we can actually see that and change the font to this font here. Then hold down shift so I can decrease the size of the shape slightly. Then number one will be up here and I'll hold down control and click and drag and number two is going to be here. This will be number three. This will be number four. This is number five and this is number six. So I'll just change the numbers in all of those. And then I need to add in the labels. So I'll go to shape and select the text box and click and drag. And then this will be ozone layer stops UV rays. And we will change this so it's this font again. And also I'm going to go to paragraph and change the line spacing so that it is exactly and then make it a bit smaller. So the label takes up less space. And then we'll just reposition this a bit. So the number and the text is where I want it to be. Then I will hold down control and copy the text and put it next to each of the numbers. Now I'm going to go through and change the text for each of the text boxes and also position them a bit more carefully. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to make a diagram in PowerPoint and that is everything.